Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we rescued Aerith, and recruited Red. And this time, we're attempting to make our escape. Oh, I can't actually... I cannot actually take this... open this door, despite being, uh, being able to open every other one. Ah... Uh... Oh, hey, more soldiers. Let's just, uh, kill you guys quickly. Let's make short work of this lot. Okay, good start, Cloud. Good start. Hmm. You know, realistically, I probably don't need enemy skill equipment right now. As far- if I remember correctly, I don't think we actually encounter any enemies with skills we can learn until we leave, uh, until we leave the building. But even so, well, here I am, I guess. Hmm. Oh, no, I killed it. Okay, so, first of all... Let's use a potion. Do those heal more in battle? I don't know. I want to go up here, though. Uh... There we go. Should have came up here first. But the allure of items, well, lured me. Yeah, pr pretty much. Even though they were just shitty potions. <laughs> right, so we were meeting on the 66th floor, so that would be this one. Why the hell are we meeting on this floor? This is a stupid floor to meet on. Whatever, here we are. Oh, whoops. Wow, how rude. Also, it's Sting. We've been caught. <laughs> so, you know, that worked out. Interesting that they took Red, but not Aerith. Like, what's up with that? Mm-hmm, safe indeed. Don't you know, they call themselves the Cetra, and lived THOUSANDS OF YEARS AGO! Then they all died. Oh, Red knows what he's talking about. The Cetra, or the Ancients, will show us the way to the Promised Land. I'm expecting a lot out of her. It's a legend, but you're willing to sink literally billions of gil into it. Into its pursuit. That's a, that's a pretty big investment for just a legend. Uh-huh. Neo Midgar. Not really very creative with the naming, are you? Why don't you just call it Shinraville? Seriously, dude! Uh huh. I mean, you certainly have a lot of money. Uh. I'm less sure, sure about power. I mean. Considering everything you've done, I'd say you probably have a fair amount of power, but, as well, but, I don't know. Hmm. 
Wow, this guy. What an asshole! And now we're in prison. So here's the thing. If you want, remember the dating game? Well, every time we do something that is not talking to Tifa, she'll like us less. <laughs> and we can do this over and over and over and over again until she hates our guts and will never go on a date with us. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, I'm not going to do that, as I've stated many times before. I don't really care that much about the dating game, we'll go with whoever we end up going with. Although I haven't really done much that would make Tifa like me at this po up to this point. I see no reason to totally piss her off either. Uh, I'm not sure if er Aerith has the same thing. I don't think Aerith would... Like, I'm pretty sure it's only Tifa. Oh, I could be mistaken, though. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> oh, hey. They have toilets in the prison cells! It's easier to use a toilet in jail in this than it is on the first 65 floors of this tower! 60, sorry, sorry, 64 floors of this tower. No, no, it is 65, isn't it? That is just terrible. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Mm-hmm. I mean, how would she? The Setter were born from the planet. Speak with the planet. And what? What does that even mean? I don't know. I feel like that may, that might be more uh, metaphorical. That strikes me as rather more metaphorical than it does literal. Like... You'll find the promised land in your heart, where where you are content. That sort of thing. Hmm. Interesting. Only heard it of the church in the slums. That's interesting. But, nope. You still hear the voices of your dead mother. Yes, all this has been established, Barrett. Okay, also established. Yep. Thank, thank you for reiterating everything succinctly, Barrett. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking idiots. They did 10 billion damage in guilt themselves. Elves, to They're not repairing the damage they've done. They did that damage in the first place to eliminate a group that is dealing millions of damage, which is a little bit less than billions. Uh... In doing so, they eliminated a eighth of the largest city in the world, all of whom were paying customers, as the city is basically works out of their pocket. So that was 10 million short-term damage, probably a lot more long-term. And they did it to reach something that probably doesn't exist. Yeah, let's sleep. That was my summary. They're run by a bunch of fucking idiots. I mean, who does that? Shinra, apparently. Oh, and that door is open. Wow. 
When indeed. Oh, that can't be good. That music really can't be good. Wait, no, you don't. I thought you had a key. I mean, I can't go further this way, so. Ah. <gasps> okay, that should take care of the hiccups. What indeed? Take his key card! Okay, I guess I guess I have to go over and help them. Wait, no, you have the damn key! Wait, what? By who? Who? Also, I seriously can't open this door. Oh, no, there we go. Come with me. Something is the matter. Something indeed. Something the matter is wrong. The hell indeed. I mean, I I'm pretty... Maybe... I can't actually see what, how he was, I can't actually see how the guard was wrecked, so, for all I know, a human indeed could not have done it. Or maybe a human could have done it. I don't know. Uh. Okay, uh. Okay, I have all of my materia. I'm gonna give you a carbon bangle. And I'm not going to give one to Tifa, because reasons. Okay, so you are the good caster, so I'll do this. And restore, and fire, I guess. You can be set up like this. Oh. Eh, I don't need cover. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, incidentally. At this point, those enemies we I wanted to steal from before are no longer accessible. You need to... If you want to steal from them, you need to fight them before you get captured. Because right now... Well, there's no enemies right now, but... But... Okay, that cannot be good. That can really not be good. The Genova specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor, using that elevator for the specimens. So, what was it saying now? Right. The stuff we're fighting now are all experiments, which got loose, are generally pretty creepy, and also do not... Uh, and also replace the stuff from before. Like, we will not be fighting the stuff we were fighting earlier. And as right now, I really wish I'd gotten that wet weave on for Aerith. It would have made her way more useful for this segment. Oh well, though. Tranquilizer, man, I'm not using that. Tranquilizer is the reverse of a hyper. It cures anger or, or whatever the hell status hyper puts you into. But if you use it, when you're regular, it will make you sad. Which you should never do because sad status is just bad. Actually, I say that, it may make you take less damage. I'm not 100% on that. Still, though, it's pretty much just bad. Uh, let's save. Save the game. Way down here. Also, it just occurred to me, it would have been way cooler last time had I ended the cliffhanger on entering the elevator instead. Oh well. Too late now! Way too late. About 15 minutes, in fact. Well, let's be fair. 18. So yeah. Basically just follow the blood stain. We can open all the doors. All of them! Oh, whoops. 
Yeah, no, screw you guys. Just... Basically, yeah. Now, if Aerith could get off another Limit Break, that would be ideal. Although, I guess I don't really need it right now. But, I would prefer to... I would really prefer to have her second Limit Break. Just as a timingness thing. Well, whatevs. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that. No, I just use the save point. I don't need to use it again. Not yet, anyway. Yep. He's dead. He's dead, Red. Tifa. Aerith. Barret. With a huge-ass sword sticking out of his back. Well... In fact, that's a really big sword, and I sure as hell didn't put it there, so... Okay, so what you're telling me, Cloud, is the reason you carry around an over such an oversized sword is because you're trying to emulate Sephiroth. Got it! Only Sephiroth can use that sword. I mean, that thing has got to, that thing can't be any less wieldy than the freaking Buster Sword. I mean, seriously. Sure, it's a little bit longer than the Buster Sword, but it's also way thinner. I mean, you'd at least be able to lift that thing up, although you'd still wouldn't be able to swing it around with anything resembling, uh, finesse. On the other hand, the Buster Sword has so much raw mass, you don't really need- you wouldn't really need finesse for it if you can lift the damn thing above your head. You just swipe down and it's gonna cut whatever you hit with it, just because it's so damn heavy. Anyway, uh, well, President R Rufus now. His father is, after all, totally dead. Uh, oh, well, okay then. Let me think. Yeah, I should be good. So it would seem. Who indeed? I'm Cloud. So I'm Sellout McCloud, soldier. First class. Uh, ex soldier. Yeah, that one. Freedom Fighter from Avalanche! A flower girl. A research experiment. I can't, I can't argue with him. It is quite the crew. And he is indeed president now. Well, yeah, that's how it works, Barrett. Shinra is basically a feudal empire. Uh, the old king died, uh, so the new one reigns. The king is dead. Long live the king! People believe that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If terrorists attack, the Shinra army will help you. It looked perfect! But I do things differently. I, can, I will control the world with fear! It's too much to do it, like my old man. A little bit of fear in the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste good money on them. He, he is the worst. Were you listening? It makes him worse than his father, because his father at least understood that he had to have pleased people somewhat. Uh, whereas this guy basically is join me or die. Little does he realize that if he if no one has any money but him, his money will be worthless. Um, because that's sort of the way economies work. It will collapse if if too few people have too much money, the economy will actually collapse. Something to keep in mind for the mo for modern days, actually. Um. 
Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh huh. Yeah, we bet. Uh, yes. That that I got clouds materia as well, right? Uh, yeah. I mean. Okay, I have poison, I got class materia as well. Good! Now, you're gonna have cover, and also... I guess I'll give you steel. I mean, it doesn't really do me much good, but... Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna give you restore all as well. You... Wait. There we go. Like so. This doesn't actually make any sense. Although I guess I have the extra all materia. Hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna do double restore. You can have sense, cause why not? And also fire, and also poison, and also ice. And then you'll also have restore. Uh, wait. I have an extra slot. Uh, okay. Do you have fire? You do not. We will just move this then. Screw sense. Sense is basically worthless. Can I sort this, by the way? I'm... Whoops. No. Uh, I could have sworn there's a way I could sort... Wait. Uh, no. Oh, there we go! Wait, what? Double ice? Damn it! Damn it! You do not have lightning, though. Hmm. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Now, I also want to put everyone in the back row. The reason for this will become evident momentarily. You know, I should actually really save. Looking at the time. Oh, okay, well that's actually sub-ideal. Uh, everyone's in the front row though, which I guess is good? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. It means I can hit harder. Since it was a back attack. Right, seriously though, so... Can I have... Save points, please. Uh, surely it's no? Oh, okay, I actually want to save this up. Normally, I still say that's a bad idea. At least when you're on your first limit break of anything. Sure, you can save up your limit breaks when you're on your second. Because, well, yeah. I've already explained it. Anyway. Uh-oh. You won't let me use the damn save point? Shit. Right, well, I'm still going to stop up here. Because, by the way, I'm stopping now. Join me next time when we conclude, maybe, the exciting escape from the Shinra building. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day! Bye!